What's up guys, Brandon here. Today we are at REC by Allen Photo to see the new launch of the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. They are doing a, a launch here. So we're gonna see how this product works. Uh, we're gonna see, you know, how it feels, how it functions, and obviously, most importantly, the image quality, right? So let's go. What I have here now in hand is the new Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K so I'm really lucky to, to have a feel of it. Overall the feel, okay, the, the ergonomics of this camera, uh, it's really really comfortable. You know, it fits into the hand really really well. And I think the biggest, uh, the best thing about this camera I think is definitely the 5 inch touchscreen display. The screen is huge. Uh, it's 5 inch, you know, so it's definitely, you know, if you have an autofocus lens, uh, you can press on the screen and it will autofocus. Second thing also is the body. The body is made of carbon fiber, so this is extremely light. It's uh, 722 grams, uh, definitely much lighter than my Sony A7 Mark III. Uh, with the 1635 on. The third thing is that it comes with a micro faulted sensor. Blackmagic Design has said that you know they wanted a micro faulted sensor because they wanted uh, to keep it the same as the previous bodies because you know all their previous users and customers have been on the micro faulted line. The fourth thing is the 13 stops of uh, dynamic range this thing has. This camera comes with a dual native ISO at a uh, 400 and 3200. So uh, you're gonna get really clean image at uh, both 400 ISO and also uh, 3200 ISO. Here's the interesting thing uh, is the recording media. So the recording media, it has three ways to record. So the first way is the SD card UHS-2. Uh, so the UHS-1 cards would not work. I think it only works up to 1080p. That being said, it is not the best uh, recording medium. Uh, the best would be CFAST 2.0 cards uh, which uh, would work without any limits. And the third medium is the most interesting one where you can plug in an SSD and record via the USB-C uh, output which is uh, really really a game changer to me. The last thing is also the Blackmagic OS. The user interface uh, is very very intuitive. Uh, you know I have no issues with it. Uh, you know it's it's almost like a phone you know a, a phone os you know that's how intuitive it is so now let's go into the image quality which is probably why you're watching this video uh, this camera can record up to 4k 60 uh, frames per second um, it can record in codecs such as cinema dng raw and uh, prores as well prores 422 so let's watch some sample footages uh, which i've shot in the, during this uh, this launch of the product um, it's not fantastic, but uh, we'll just see how, how well it works in, uh, in, in bad situations like this. So to summarize my first impressions with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, which has a really, really long name. Uh, it has great ergonomics, you know, it feels really, really good in the hand. It is super lightweight, uh, which can be a good thing or a bad thing, you know. Uh, the good thing is that you won't have any sore hands, uh, but the bad thing, you know, is that it is super shaky due to the camera body not having any image stabilization. The camera also has a fantastic 5-inch touchscreen display, which I find really, really uh, enjoyable to use. That coupled with the Blackmagic OS is just a joy to use, you know. It, you know, it's almost like using a phone, you can swipe left and swipe right. Sounds familiar? You know, you can easily swipe through the menus to access whatever you want. That was really, really hands down one of the best uh, experience I have. Uh, with a touchscreen. And now to summarize the image quality, I think is pretty good from what I see. Uh, I haven't had really the opportunity to, to try it, uh, you know, for a good few days or, you know, weeks. So I can't really say, but from what I'm seeing uh, on my laptop, um, the images are really clean. Uh, they look fantastic. Some people have actually mentioned uh, online on YouTube that, you know, the video looks a lot sharper. Uh, you know, it looks a bit video-ish. I can't comment on that because I haven't tried other cinema cameras. But so far, you know, I'm pleased with the image quality. Uh, you know, if it's sharp, you know, why not? You can always put filters like the Tiffin Black Pro Mist to soften the details a bit. I did some simple color grading as you have seen earlier in the video. Uh, you know, it was pretty easy to grade. Uh, I have no issues with 
with the ProRes uh, footage. Now the only thing that I feel that is lacking in this camera or you know it would be good to have in this camera is image stabilization. With the camera body being so light, any shake, any micro shake from your hands would translate to you know huge movements uh, in the footage as you have seen early on in the video you know i understand this is a cinema camera you know and you know no other cinema cameras have a five axis image stabilization uh, so yeah i think i can live without the image stabilization you know seeing that there's hundreds of wonderful gimbals out there in the market you know you can even add a, a small rig cage to it and add accessories to it you know to increase the weight such that it's more stable you can use an easy rig you know hundreds of methods of stabilization out there which could easily solve this problem so for me the biggest plus point for this camera is the price it is retailing at 1825 Singapore dollars uh, which is really affordable for for a lot of people uh, and seeing micro forte lenses are really really affordable these days you know anybody can really really pick this camera up you know with a couple of months saving uh, and you know start their career in filmmaking which I think that is the philosophy behind Blackmagic design their philosophy is to innovate you know and to make things affordable for everybody so yeah thank you for watching this video uh, if you like this video remember to click the thumbs up button below and if you want to watch more videos like this uh, remember to subscribe to my channel uh, that would be really really nice of you and uh, so yeah peace